What is going on? I am OGFH and today I'm going to be showing you how I record and do all of my YouTube videos and um, the software I use, all that. So I use OBS, it's open broadcast software. It is free to use. I'll put it in the description. There's going to be a link below. Go ahead, click it, download OBS. Um, when you go download OBS, it'll ask for multi-platform. That's like if you're using Mac, but if you have Windows 10, um, let me just go ahead and find it right here. Um, if you have um, Windows 10 uh, or like any any sort of Windows 32-bit, 64-bit or whatever, or get original, multi-platform, um, complete rewrite of OBS from the ground up. This is like what you use if you're going to be modifying it and stuff. Just use original. That's what everybody like usually uses. Um, on top of that, for a boost in performance, if you have a decent processor, I would recommend opening your task manager. And I have a 4th generation i5. Um, and so I have four cores. I recommend doing this. Right click, set priority high, which is going to be a default setting we're going to set in OBS. So this is before you even start recording or whatever. You, don't even have, you can skip this if you want. But make one processor run it because, I'll, I'll, like in my computer, for example, one processor can handle a 1080p 60fps recording at 3500 or 35,000 um, kilobytes a second. So. Um, and then that way you, you can make your game run off of the other six, uh, three cores. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the settings. Um, we're gonna go, to, I'm just gonna go straight down the list general. This first page doesn't matter, encoding is what matters. If you're using a processor and you don't have an NVIDIA graphics card, you're gonna wanna go on encoder 264. Um, if you make an encoder 264, uh, it, it takes a lot more on your processor. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, it, it helps a lot. It relieves a lot of stress off of the processor. It makes it easier. That's why I can run it off of one core and record. Um, with NVIDIA and VNC, I'm going to first go over if you have a graphics card. If you don't have a graphics card and you're just recording with the processor, click here. And I will go ahead and show you a future. Uh, I'll, I'll push you to later in the video where I go over the processor settings. All right, so with the NVIDIA NVNC, I have UCBR. Okay, so real quick, I just wanna preface this part of the video. I have recommended bitrate size based on what I can do and like what I wanna record. These bitrates are just like a recommendation. You can record whatever you want. You can record Arma 3 at 1700 bitrate. You can record whatever you want. If you wanna record Minecraft at a higher bitrate, the bitrate is your quality like control. The higher the bitrate, the higher the quality, lower the bitrate, lower the quality. And so no matter what game you play, um, you can change to any bitrate or whatever that you want to record in. These are just my personal settings or preferences, I just have to say that and include this in the video. Um, I'm going to go ahead and continue. I record at 17,000 bit, 17, bitrate. Um, part of, the reason why is because it's good for 1080p 60fps recording. But if I'm playing a game um, like Minecraft, 17,000 is good. If I'm playing a game... Um, or if I'm recording my monitor, I can even drop down to 12,000. So I'll just give you a couple examples. If you want to just record your monitor and what you're doing, you can go ahead and drop it to 12,000. If you're recording a game like Minecraft or a simple game without a lot of animations, if you're recording, I would say Counter-Strike and stuff like that, I would say 17,000. If you're recording a game like Arma and Battlefield where there's a lot of aliasing, there's a lot of graphics and different shaders on it and um, gra like graphics like start to mean something i'd recommend you boost it up to twenty five thousand or so now um i record minecraft time lapse and different things that i want to be like super hd and nice i boost it up to thirty five thousand. the file size is a lot bigger but the video quality is a lot better um so i would just recommend if you're gonna go anywhere between fifteen thousand and twenty thousand for record reference i just go with seventeen thousand And then audio, AAC, and then 320 bitrate just because I like to have it 320, the highest settings, stereo, and whatnot. So, we're going to go to broadcaster settings. This is where you change it. If you were to stream, you can just hit live stream and change it, but file output only. You're going to go ahead here and pick the folder you want your recordings to go. <laughs> um, replay buffer length, one second, whatever. And then this doesn't really matter because um, I don't use replay buffer. 
um, we can go on to the next one. So you just go ahead and find it. Usually you want to have it on your faster hard drive. If you have a solid state drive, that's not a good place to put it because it's probably not a good file size. But if you were to have two hard drives and one of them is faster than the other, record your videos onto the faster one. Um, that's just a reference. Um, adapter, if you're using a graphics card, which you should be if you're watching this part, NVIDIA GTX 770, that's the graphics card I have, your base resolution is going to be your monitor. So 1920 by 1080, 16 by 9. Now this is right here if you choose if you want to record in 720 or 1080. The resolution downscale means it's going to downscale the, um, the base resolution and it's going to turn it into 720 or whatever. If you want to record in 720, if you, I don't know why you would want to record in 480 or 360, but if you want to, the options are there. I just record in 1920 by 1080, 60 frames per second. If you really want, don't want the file size and you bring it down to 720, that helps. But nowadays, you shouldn't be making any videos that aren't 30 frames per, or 60 frames per second or more. Um, so what I usually do if I want to make a 720p video, I just record it in 1920 by 1080 p anyways. And then um, once I do that, um, I go into my video editing software, Sony Vegas, and I just make the video 720p in my render settings when I'm done. Uh, we can go ahead and skip audio, default desktop. Desktop means it's gonna be going to, sorry. It's gonna be going right here to whatever audio track it is, the, the mixer. Um, desktop is gonna be recording anything that plays on your desktop. If I go like this, it's gonna record that. Um, also, like anything that goes on, it'll record it. Um, your microphone is obviously your microphone. And the reason I say desktop audio device is default, because like you can have multiple audio tracks. Like if you want a certain audio to go through your monitor, if your monitor has a speaker, like music or whatever. So uh, find out which one your gameplay audio goes through or whatever you want. You can mess with that on your, on your own. Uh, push to talk delay, whatever. I don't, I don't mess with any of this because I don't have push to talk. I just have my mic always on. Uh, force microphone or auxiliary to mono. Do not have this enabled because it will only come out of one ear. Um, and uh, show connected devices just to show whatever. Um, hotkeys, you can mess with on your own. The only one I have is mute. Uh, it'll mute my mic for me by pressing a button. That's about it. Now, advanced. Use multi thread optimization. It'll, if you have multiple cores, like an I, if you have an i7 where there's hyper threading or multiple cores, use it. Most computers should use it. Um, have it enabled. Process priority class is again in your task manager. I'll, I'll, br I'll briefly explain it. If you right click and go to set priority, your computer, your computer, just like you when you do chores and shit, um, it has a checklist of what it wants to go through and what it wants to accomplish. So if you put it on low, um, it's gonna like process a bunch of other things, and th that's gonna be very very low quality or like it's very um, shitty recording, very choppy because your computer is not worrying about processing OBS. Always put it on high. Um, scene buffering 700 milliseconds, allow other modifier hotkeys, whatever. Disable while encoding while previewing. NVIDIA NVNC, you're gonna want to use default. This is the best setting I found and online too. This is what people say is the best setting to do with it for the file size. Encoding main, um, key interval, UCFR. That's basically it. Now, um, you can. I'm gonna put an annotation up here. Uh, further going on, um, the next step of recording and stuff like that. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do the recording. So you can go ahead and click this annotation up here. And I'm gonna go ahead and get into uh, the other step if you're recording whatever without a graphics card. Okay, so if you are here and you're recording without a graphics card and you're using encoder, by 264 is what you wanna use. Um, use CBR is gonna be um, enabled and then 1700. You're not gonna wanna change it, but enable CBR padding custom buffer size. Um, go ahead and just keep those on. Your max bitrate, um, the higher the bitrate, obviously the higher the processing. And the thing about that is that with the, the processor encoder, it's going to take a lot more off your CPU. And so if you have a good CPU and you don't have a graphics card, I recommend that if you're going to be recording this method, that you should have a graphics card because the encoder does kill your processor. I record at 1700 bit, 17,000 bitrate. Um, part of... The reason why is because it's good for 1080p 60fps recording, but if I'm playing a game um, like Minecraft, 17,000 is good. If I'm playing a game um, or if I'm recording my monitor, I can even drop down to 12,000. So I'll just give you a couple examples. If you want to just record your monitor and what you're doing, you can go ahead and drop it to 12,000. If you're recording a game 
like Minecraft or a simple game without a lot of animations if you're recording I would say Counter-Strike and stuff like that I would say 17,000 if you're recording a game like Arma and Battlefield where there's a lot of aliasing there's a lot of graphics and different shaders on it and um, gra like graphics like start to mean something I'd recommend you boost it up to 25,000 or so now um, I record Minecraft time-lapse and different things that I want to be like super HD and nice I boost it up to 35,000 the file size is a lot bigger but the video quality is a lot better um, so I would just recommend if you're gonna go anywhere between 15,000 and 20,000 for record reference I just go with 17,000 well it doesn't kill it but it just it, it just it, there's a noticeable frame loss um, broadcast settings of course file output only if you want to live stream you can click live stream but it's gonna be file output only um, you're gonna go and choose your path that you want your videos to be recorded in. I just have it on my E drive. You're gonna want to save it on your faster hard drive. If you have two hard drives, one of them is faster, one of them is slower. Um, go ahead and put it on the faster one. That's where I would do the recordings because that way it would write better and stuff like that. Video, um, you're gonna be on Intel HD or graphics or whatever your built-in um, graphics processing unit is. Um, base resolution 1920 by 1080 or whatever your monitor. If you have like um, whatever resolution your monitor is is what you're probably gonna want it to do um, 16 by 9 aspect ratio whatever now this is where you're gonna want to choose your resolution that you want to record if you want to record in 720 40p 360p you can go ahead and do that but just keep this up here 1920 by 1080 I'm assuming most people should have a 1080p monitor or something um, but your resolution downscale if you want to record in 1080 then just do none if you want to record in 720p then do that what i usually do in my case is i record in 1080p 60fps no matter what i'm recording and then in my um my video video editing software i go ahead and edit all the settings and render it down into 720p video um 60 frames per second i don't recommend recording 30 frames per second um because if you want to render it in 60 frames you know like it kind of goes against it kind of like contradicts itself if you're recording in 30 but rendering in 60. Also, I don't really find it attractive to be looking at um, anything but lower than 60 frames. Um, so yeah. Desktop audio device. This is gonna, be, if you have it on default, it will go ahead and record everything going on in your computer. Um, if you have multiple audio tracks, and you know, when you go to like the, when you click, um, when you go to the mixer and you have other things like there's like a, the monitor or whatever and you have audio that goes to your monitor It'll only record what goes to your desktop um, So I would just keep it default microphone. You can go ahead and select your microphone. I have auto technical 80 20 20 Of course microphone auxiliary make sure that is off because that'll make your microphone only go to one ear and then yeah So advanced you're gonna want to go ahead and oh sorry um, Okay uh, advanced you're gonna want to do very fast if you go faster or fast this right here is what kills your computer ultra fast doesn't look good super fast doesn't look good very fast looks better um, if you record with your processor it looks a lot better than recording with the graphics card but um, yeah it's very fast and then you're gonna want to use main um, it's multi thread optimization process priority class high allow other modifiers UCFR those are the settings I use to record um, I'm gonna go ahead and also show a example of a recording um, that I've done with 1700 bitrate um, and then with uh, 25,000 and then 35,000 so yeah guys also um, if you want to record I guess I can just go over this real quick add scene um, well, we're already in monitor capture if you want to record a monitor you're gonna want to right click add click monitor capture and it'll bring up this setting I have two monitors so it'll ask you to select whichever one the main monitor right here is monitor uh, one, I think, and then my other monitor is monitor two, um, or whatever. And then select subregion means that you want to only record a certain part of your screen. So if I only want to record this corner, but um, I don't ever recommend using that. Um, capture mouse cursor if you want to capture your cursor or not. Blah blah blah. That's really all you gotta worry about. If you want to record a game, game capture. Okay. And then you can go ahead and refresh. And if you have a game that's open, you can go ahead and refresh and um, select it. Window capture will record a Windows. If I want to go ahead and record like a, if I want to go ahead and record a um, like a Twitch chat, 
or something. Oh, this is my Twitch window. But as you can see, I can go ahead and add that. It is over here on my other monitor, but it shows up right here. I can go ahead and edit where I want it to put it, stuff like that. Um, let's go ahead and delete that. Um, and there's other things you can mess with. A video capture device, if you want to add a webcam, you can just go ahead and add a webcam. I'm not going to add a webcam right now. Um, and yeah, that's what I use to record. Um, I already have a video showing how I edit my videos, my render settings and all that. It's all good render settings that I use no matter what. The only thing I change is my video and bitrate um, and stuff. When I do record, depending on what I'm recording, remember, change your bitrate, all that. I hope this helps out. Um, have fun recording. Make some good YouTube videos. Make some quality videos. And uh, yeah, hope you guys have a wonderful time, morning, afternoon, whatever the case may be. And I will see you guys next time.